all the demon families are gathering right now. But don't worry, because CardKingdom.com has got what you need for Streets of New Capenna. Go get your singles, go get your sealed product, get whatever you need at CardKingdom.com. The best three colors in Magic when put together to form the perfect trifecta of power and magic. Blue, black, red. That's right. It's crisis. And with that comes responsibility with all the bad mana issues and all the times people say Grixis mages don't do anything. Let me tell you, we gotta collect, we gotta gather, and we're gonna share notes because this video, I'm going over my essential Grixis card list because every pod needs an arch enemy. So let's get out there, let's go do Bolus's bidding and let's, uh, oh, actually, I just realized something. That There'd be a really good sitcom called My Grixis Life and you know, Let's kick off the list with a brand new card already. Yes, Streets of Capenna has already brought me a brand new commander that I love, and it's Evelyn the Covetous. And she's just such a sweet vampire commander. Uh, first off, uh, she now gives Grixis vampires viability, right? The, the older ones weren't that great, uh, so I kind of just wrote them off. And then on top of that, it's not the boring kind of drain and pain kind of play style. Uh, this is a whole new play style for vampires. You're stealing from your opponents. You're seeing where the rogue aspect of her comes in. And I absolutely love that. I love that she's got flash on top of that. So you can do this at the end of your turn, uh, your opponent's turn, wherever you want to do this, you can. And so, yeah, this is just a super sweet new commander. And I can't wait to take this to all the pods. The next card I'm going to be talking about is absolutely busted and will probably get you killed if you play it at a table. It's Anala Archmage Ritualist. It's two in Grixis. Uh, it's got Eminence, one of the most absurdly broken mechanics made for Commander. Uh, and it's just whenever a wizard enters the battlefield, you pay one generic mana and boom, you get a token copy against Haste to Exile at the end of the upkeep or at the end of the turn. This is cracked. You get to do so many things with this. I I love this as a commander. I was able to get like Thalakos Deceiver, clone it. Uh, and then of what? course, not only did you get Thalakos Deceiver, you have Wanderwine Prophets. And every year we get more wizards that just continue to be more broken, right? Wizards and humans, those are just things that just like types that constantly get made. And then of course, there's the main ability that everyone hates you for. Tap five, untap wizards you control. Target opponent loses seven life. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think anyone's ever activated that, but you know what? Sure. Let's go with that's why everyone is mad at you. Well, well, well. The next card. It's the crimmiest card a crim could crim. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually didn't pay anybody at Watsy to make this. It's Lord Xander, the collector. This card is a sweetheart for me. I love this card. It's for, it's for and Grixis. It comes down when it enters the battlefield. Target opponent discards half their hand, uh, rounded down, attacks, mills half their library, rounded down, dies, sacks half their non-land permanents, rounded down. Now, this is exactly what I love. <laughs> just enough to affect the game, but also not win the game. You just perfectly walk this line where you're annoying, but you're not a threat, but you are annoying. So, and you get to target one person, so you can potentially be like a hitman and assassin, if you would. Have, you know, politic your way to where like, okay, cool, there's a storm player at the table. Well, you know, I'll go after them. I'll collect from them, you know, like, who should I go for? Kill the green okay. player. Yeah. Or who else could I go for? We could oh. stop the combo. Yeah, that may, see? All the politicking you can want, you can listen to your inner devils and gods. This is such a fun commander. The seventh card on my list is Jaleva Nefalia Scourge. This one, if you don't know by now, this is one of the earliest commanders that probably like came in like the Mind Seas pre-con. I love this one, and I'm sure you all can understand why. Okay, maybe I might have a problem, but yeah, whenever it enters the battlefield, each player exiles the top X cards of his or her library, where X is the amount of mana spent on Jaleva, and then when it attacks, you get to cast a spell for free on instant or sorcery, and that's exactly what I love doing. You know, I loved Evelyn because she stole off the top of our opponent's library. This does a lot of more of the theft effects, like once again, just really 
leaning into the fact that I love theft effects. So this is like pretty fun to play. Uh, it'll often die, but like the if you ever get to attack, you get to cast one sweet spell. So like you'll see from like Commander Legends, the big nine mana spells, you have Coral Tomatum, you have so many things running around in Commander now. This just continues to be a hilariously fun Commander. Uh, <laughs> just expect it to die and try to protect it as hard as you can because yeah oh man i really should work on the theft thing i really do like stealing spells the only thing i like more than stealing spells and jaleva and all that is come on marchesa the black rose she essentially was my rogue commander before we had Anawan, before we had all this other stuff. Uh, but she's also just great as this weird, like, Grixis creature-based deck because she has Dethrone. Other creatures you control have Dethrone. And whenever a creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it dies, return that to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. So this just kind of protects your army of little creatures. You can protect your rogues. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, nowadays, I still play this in most of my Grixis decks just as a solid creature, right? Maybe not as my commander, but, like, I play it there to get back my opposition agents. Oh my god, is that a con? That's a combo, right? Like, anything bringing back opposition agent, I think, is immediately a combo. Along with Notion Thief. What do you guys think? Yeah, oh, definitely. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 see, so the other uh, other me's also agree. This is just a fun way to also just bring back any other creatures you might have. And again, board wipe insurance, it gets better and better as the sweepers continue to get, like, printed every year. Although... Ah, it doesn't get around farewell. But you know what? What does? <laughs> now, number five is a spell I love because it's the little brother. It's got that little brother energy. It's dark intimations. Two blue, black, red. Each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature or planeswalker card from the graveyard to your hand, then draw a card. Sound familiar? And then, of course, you have when you cast a Bolas planeswalker spell, exile dark intimations from your graveyard. Comes in a play with an additional loyalty counter on it. Not that that I would ever play a Bolas Planeswalker, but if I did, this would also just benefit, benefit me even more. Why not? Why not get one more counter? But this is such a sweet effect because it makes each opponent do it. So everyone is going to sack, everyone's gonna have to discard, and then you get to draw a card, and you get to bring a creature back. So it's a solid removal spell. It's so Grixis, and it oozes with flavor. I just love everything about this card. And uh, like, yeah, like it, it's, it, what's more Grixis than this? It's a mini matum. It's it's just mini matum. What I'm about to say is going to shock you because coming in at number four is a bit of a different one for me, and I'm pretty sure none of you would have expected this. So I'm sorry. This might shock you, but it's Nico Bolas the Ravager. <laughs> Number four for my favorite four drop. Oh boy, when I saw this in M19, I loved everything about it. It came down, okay, it was really good in 60 card formats. And in Commander, everybody has to discard a card. And what better than to minorly inconvenience people at the pod and then make you pretty much arch enemy instantly. <laughs> That's nothing, nothing is more Grixis than that. This is the perfect Bolas. He's cheap, he's not like 50 mana. On top of that, let's talk about that backside. Good Lord, this Bolas has a dump truck. That backside is so sweet because it's Nico Bolas the Arisen. So it's plus two draw, two cards. Amazing. Uh, you can also minus to use removal. You can minus to reanimate a planeswalker or a creature from a graveyard. The ultimate, obviously, I mean, if you ultimate this, you're Probably already winning. Uh, so yeah, this is just everything, and it's constantly two cards stapled onto one. It allows you to shift gears. If you want it to be your commander, you can. It can be. It can be any archetype. It can be dragon. It can be control. It can be super friends. And on top of that, it can also give like deal damage, commander damage without uh, Giada, Luxie, or Giada's gift or whatever. And and yeah, like the backside is all. You're always threatening this crazy planeswalker that's just so powerful. Oh, God, Bolas, yes. Number three is all about the sack. That's right. Please don't fire me. Okay, so Thraxamundar is all about making people sacrifice. And that is cool. This was my first commander. It's got no tons of nostalgic reasons for me, right? This was the first thing I built was like 40 removal spells and 40 counter spells and like lands and and thraxamunder as the only win con 
Obviously, I've changed since then. I've learned how that's flawed, but like this is such a cool commander. It still holds up to this day. It is seven mana, but there's tons of things allowing commanders to be more resilient. You know, you have the fierce guardian ships. You also have uh, more like counter spells and things like that, and ways to protect your commander now, phasing them out with like step out the back or something, slip out the back. This card takes over games. It gets massive, and it really like there's so many things that sacrifice in Magic. Whether you you can supply them or people sacrifice fetch lands, people sacrifice all sorts of things. So this is still the commander. Like he is still a very good sacrifice commander. Um, not in the aristocrats way, but he just gets swole whenever anybody sacrifices anything, and I love that. So he still holds up, and you no, know, not only that, he's got that pretty sweet, you know, the metal art. How badass is that? Coming up at number two, it's kind of unfair because he's got multiple cards and you probably figured it out by now. Uh, but you might be surprised. It's a Bolas card. It's Nico Bolas the God Fairy. This is just a, a, a powerful card to play on the table. First off, it comes down with a lot of loyalty, like a lot of loyalty. And then you get to automatically, if you plus one, you can get a random card from an opponent. And it is a bit random, but you're always guaranteed something that isn't a land. It could be a land or elf, or it could be an it that betrays. Who knows? That's the beauty of it. The fun in it is that it's spin the wheel. Who knows what I get? Maybe it's something fun. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it sucks. And then, of course, the plus one exiles two cards from each opponent's hand. Everyone has to do it except for you, and that's amazing. So you get to keep running them down on cards, doing the Grixis thing of grinding opponents out. And even better, it's exile, so they can't just throw it away, benefit from like some reanimator spell or something like that. And I, I've had the opportunity to ultimate this card, but I've never wanted to do it. Unless it like exiled all my opponent's permanents, including their lands, that's different. But yeah, this doesn't do that, so I, I very rarely ever imagine ulting this, and... God, I love this card so much. Look at that artwork. It's like, imagine the creation of Adam. That's what it looks like, you know? Bolas is kind of reaching out and like, uh -uh, I want to just hold my hand. We're now at number one. This is the Grixis card for me. It's the one that made me fall in love with Grixis. Like, I, I, I like Bolas, but this made me love Grixis. It was great in Standard. It was, I tried it in Modern, the same Modern where people were going Splinter Twin, uh, like there was Treasure Cruising, all of that, whatever. Cruel Ultimatum. That's right, this is such a sweet card. This is the Timmy spell. Right? This is like the one of the best Timmy spells you can cast. It really dunks only one person, which is unfortunate because I think if it were designed in like 2022, it hit everyone that isn't you. But regardless of who you hit with this, it would set them back three cards, five life, sack a creature, you get a creature, draw three, gain five. Oh my god, that's right. It's not modal. You get all of that. You get all of that. This is the perfect Grixis spell. And it's the one that I just think of when I think Grixis every time. So this is my favorite magic spell probably to cast. It feels so good. Uh, I've definitely never lost after casting this in a 60 card format, but I've definitely lost before because, you know, it is hard to cast and you most likely die. But that's another, another story for another day. But in modern, this is... A fun, 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 fun card, and it really feels good when you cast it. So take it out there, take it for a spin, and, uh, you know, see how it feels like when you're just oozing with power. Because, again, there's always a greater power. And that is a wrap on all my favorite Grixis cards. So let me know if I missed any, uh, if there's any that you value higher or you like, because, you know, it's always nice to compare notes with other Grixis mages. Uh, and lastly, again, this this was such a fun video to make. So thanks for watching it. Thanks for supporting all the content we make here on MTG Goldfish. You can find me on social media at The Asian Avenger. That's Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, twitch.tv slash The Asian Avenger, uh, where I stream everything. So thanks for watching this. And of course, if you want to support the channel, go on over to mtggoldfish.com. We have a merch booth. Uh, you know, we can, we've got all sorts of sweet shirts there. We have a cruel story bro shirt over there. Not saying that I own that or anything, but yeah, go check it out. And as always, thanks for watching. And uh, and you know, go go out there, go do Bolus's bidding, go go do stuff, go go cruel ultimatum people in your pod, uh, and go play arch enemy and go collect. <laughs> Have a good one. As always, appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you at the next one.